one time the day you're having, but let me tell you this. The Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made. Ha. This is the day that the Lord has made. No matter what you're going through. No matter what the circumstances. Ha. No matter what situation you're going through. Guess what? It's still a good day. Because God made it. And God made this day specially for you. Because this is a good day. And God blessed us. God blessed every day. Every day that we live. Every day we get up in the morning. Every day we breathe the breath of life. It's a good day. Because God has given us life. God has given us life. And that life is through His Son, Jesus Christ. That's why it's a good day. Look, look up at the sky. Look up at the sky. The sky is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Look at the trees. Look all around you. Look at the people God created. Look at the children. Look at the little babies over there. This is a good day. Because guess what? There's life. There's life. And we have that life. Because God has given us life. That's why it's a good day. Because we're living. The Bible says in Him we live, we breathe, and have our beings. Guess what? It's not us who's breathing. God has given us the bread of life. God has given us His life to dwell in us. That's why we breathe. Because, because, because what? The breathing that we breathe is the breath of life. It came from God Almighty Himself. God has given us life. God has given us the light to breathe, to breath. God has given us the, the nose to be able to smell. Mouth to be able to taste. Taste food. All of these great things God has given us. God is so good. That's why it's a good day. And guess what? We're alive. We're alive. We're living. We're walking all up and down the street. We're, we're sitting in the park. We're laying in the park, enjoying life. Because God has given us life. And God has given us life to enjoy life. But we got to enjoy it in Him. He wants to enjoy life in Him. In Christ Jesus we should have to be, we should enjoy life. Because God has given us life to enjoy it. But this life that we live, we have to enjoy it in Jesus Christ. Which, it's a good day. Which God? Say what, sir? Which God? Which, which, which God? Yeah, which one? It's the Lord God, the Creator, the God who created the heavens and the earth. Yeah. Jehovah God. Elohim. El Shaddai. God Almighty. It's God. The Lord God. That's God. The God who created you. The God who got you right here standing right here looking at me right now. That's God. Right. That's right. God. But which one? There's a bunch of religions that believe in a bunch of different ones. The one, the, one, the, one, the one and only true God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. From well, Scripture. Then, then from Scripture. One of those? There's, there's only one God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God Almighty. Je Je Jehovah. Versions of the Bible in production today, no, many of which contradict each other. Satanic counterfeit duplicates wannabe Bibles. But they, That's what Satan does to steal people away from the true Bible. Wait, so which one's the true one? The God of the Bible is the true Bible. Right, but which Bible? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the James King Bible, the James King Version. The, the King James. The King James. Okay. God's Holy God. Word. God's Holy Word has reported from, from thousands of years ago. Amen. Amen. You don't, see the, you don't see any words recorded from any other Bible. Those are just here so they can counterfeit. Go ahead now. Go ahead now. now. It's the home of God. The God who created all things. Jesus. Christ Jesus. Satan sent one of his angels to, 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 to confuse us. But that's not happening. Amen. Guess what? It's the God who created you. It's the living God. God, God. You know what? God says what? Jesus said this. You know, when the angel came, right? And then when, 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 Moses, when, when, when Moses got pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit, and then the angel came and told, told, told Mary. The angel told Mary. The angel told Joseph to name the child Jesus. Who gave Jesus that name? God gave Jesus that name. Jesus. Emmanuel, that means God with us. Yeah. He's God man with us. Yeah. He's God Almighty. Yeah. He's with us. 
He's the creator. He's, he's, he's the creator of all living beings. The moon, the stars, the sky. Jesus said, let there be light. There was light. God spoke the word into existence. The word is Jesus Christ. It's through Jesus why we exist. It's through the power of the word of God why we exist. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. He's God Almighty. What I'm going to tell you, it's still a good day. <laughs> it's still a good day because God made this day and this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us. He said, let us. Guess what? Let us be sure. Guess what? That means what? Lift up your hands to the sky. Tell Jesus, thank you for today. Tell Jesus, thank you for getting you up this morning. Tell Jesus, thank you for your legs and your feet to be able to move around. Tell Jesus, thank you for the food that I eat. Tell Jesus, thank you for the car that I drive. Tell Jesus, thank you for the house that I live in. Thank Jesus. Lord Jesus, thank you for the air that I breathe. We can take God's thanks. We should be praising our, our Savior. We should be praising our Maker, the one who created us, the one who made us. We made in the image of God. God Almighty. That means that, guess what? Some things you just know what to do is right. Because God is right. God is righteous. You know? You know, you, you know, you know not to go in that store and steal because it's wrong to do that. You know it's wrong to kill. You know it's wrong to do those things. And God said it's wrong. You know it's wrong to hate another person. You know it's wrong to hate another color. You know it's wrong to hate, hate, hate. You know, the, you, you, you know it's right to love. You know, you know what, it, what it means to love, because God is love. God is love. We know these things, people. That's why we made in the image of God Almighty. We know right from wrong. We know, we know the wrong not to do. We know the right thing to do. But God has put that in us to know these things. We know it's wrong to have sex out of marriage. We know it's wrong to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to destroy your body, put anything or any toxins in your body. Because God has given you that body. God has given you that body so you can glorify Him and worship Him. And give Him thanks. You created to worship God. You're not created to worship yourself. You're not, you're not created to worship Buddha. You're not created to worship Muhammad. You're not created to worship Mary. You're here to worship the Lord God, the God of heaven and earth. Yeah. Your maker. You should lift your hands up to the Lord. Don't you know He sees you? Don't you know He hears you? Don't you know He sees you in the dark? To see everything that you do, He knows every pain, every suffer, everything that you go through, God knows it. There's nothing that He don't know about you. Because He created you. He knows you better than you know yourself. God knows you, and He loves you, and He wants you to know that He loves you. He loves you so much. He loves you that much that He was willing to come down. He was willing to come down. To go to the cross for you, to die for you, to take the pain, the punishment, and everything that he went through, he did it for you. He did it for you. Because that's his love for you. God loves you so much, people. The Bible says, For God so loved the world. Who is the world? It's not the world, it's not the earth, it's you. It's you. It's not the earth. It's not the earth. The earth. It's you that he loves. You are the world. He so loved the world. He loves you. He gave his life for you. He died on that ragged cross for you. He was punished. He was bruised. He was crucified for you. He gave his life for you on that cross. God wants you to know that he loves you that much. But you ask yourself, 
And God loved me so much. Why am I going through this? Why am I going through that? Guess what? It's not God that's taking you through that. Sometimes things you can go through because why? This is the fallen world we live in, people. This is a sinful world we live in. This is a sinful world we live in. It's a fallen and sinful world. That's why so many things happen. We're going to have trials, tribulations, problems, circumstances. That's part of life. You're not going to live. Hey, 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 guess what? You're not going to be young and stay young forever. One day we're going to get old. You're going to get old one day. You're not going to be beautiful all the time. You're not going to look beautiful one time. Guess what? You're going to be you some leaves right there. Guess what? When, 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 when we're spring over, when summer over, when winter come in, what happens to the leaves? What happens to the leaves? They start squeaking it up. They start coming it up. That's how our bodies do. That's how our bodies do. We're going to get old just like the leaves when they fall down to the ground. And then they die. And then we're going to die. We're going to get wrinkles just like the leaves. What the leaves do? When the leaves fall, what happens? They get wrinkles when they hit the ground. You know, guess what? They get old. You know, they dry up. Just like we do. Because this is a fallen world we live in. But there's hope, people. There's hope. And guess what? The hope is through God's Son, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in who? Him? Whoever believes in Jesus Christ? Whoever believes in Him shall have eternal life. But guess what? After this life, after, this, after you drive, and you die, you go to the grave, guess what? You're going to live again. You're going to live again. Say that again. That's eternal life that God has promised us. Yeah. He promised us a life after this life. Yeah. And that life is with Him in heaven. And guess what? The same way that you know you're here right now, the same way you'll know when you get to heaven. But you don't go there in this, in this, in this kind of body, because the body that we have is a sinful body. This body that we have is a fallen body. This body that we have, guess what? This body is a sinful, sinful body that we live in and that we dwell in. We dwell in. We think sinful thoughts. We do sinful things. This body is a sinful body. That's why Jesus crucified the body. That's why when Jesus was beaten, he was whipped, he was crucified the body for you. The body is sinful. You can't even put no trust in your own self. You can't even trust your own self. Because you know how you are. You can't put no confidence in your own self. Because you mess up all the time. You screw up, you make mistakes every day. That's why Jesus died for you. He died for all of your mistakes. He gave his life for all the things that you're going through. Everything you've ever done, Jesus paid it for you at the cross. Everything, no matter what you have done, Jesus went to the cross for it. You may have robbed somebody. You may have cheated somebody. You may have stolen from somebody. No, you may, no matter what you, you may have got a sickness. No matter what you're going through in your life, Jesus already went to the cross for you. He already paid for you at the cross. He said it is finished. He paid for your sins, people. He gave his ultimate life for you at the cross. But you got to ask yourself, well, what am I going to do since I know this now? I know what Jesus done for me. Come to Jesus, man. Come to the cross. Come to the cross. And find that everlasting life. Find that life that, guess what? God has promised you real, real life. The life that you have now, you're going to die. You're going to perish. You're going to die. Okay. Listen. I work right at the college. I work at a college, and sometimes, you know, you know, the college, they give you all of these, um, they give you all, 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 all of these, um, um, you know, I got life insurance. I got all of this stuff. I got doctor's insurance. I got all of this stuff right here. But I thought about life insurance. That what struck me about life insurance. Life insurance can't save my life. 
I mean, you know, they give you this life insurance. Life insurance is supposed to guess what I mean? They what? 